Okay, so I finally decided after five years of owning this computer, I'm going to upgrade the SSD to one terabyte. Don't really need it, but I want to do it. So it's a Dell Inspiron, 13 inch, two in one, 7373 is the model. And it's a pretty nice box. Like I said, I've been using it forever. Got an i7. I'm happy with it. But the problem I found out is when I called Dell, they said they can only put in Another 512, no bigger. But I kind of ignored that. I went to Crucial, looked up my model number. They actually came up with something, okay? So my idea, and I haven't even gone into the, the BIOS or nothing yet, or opened the case or nothing. But you see where I'm pointing to my mouse pointer here? It's kind of moving around. SK Hynix, C11 SATA, 512. When I looked that up, hold my mouse down, it's like being M key. Right here? That's why I look it up, right? But when I called Dell, they said I could have either SATA or a PCIe, but no NVMe. Okay. So I'm looking over here. There's an SSD with the PCIe, but one slot. They're saying I could put it in the same slot. I did some research. It says some will dual slots on some machines, depending on how they built them. That's fine with me. Okay. This means that this gap that I'm kind of moving the mouse around in has nothing there. And then with this card plugged in, it uses the extra connectors for the bandwidth or pathway or whatever you want to call it. Now, Dell won't help me with that. They only show 512 upgrades. Well, I did. I went to Crucial. Got me uh, the P3 Plus, which is advertised as one terabyte M2, single-sided SSD, obviously, PCIe NVMe Gen 4. And it's got a big, big read and write specs and all that. But they'll say there was only 512 max. So I guess Crucial did something what we used to call strapping when you do things physically. Internal to get it to work, maybe make it look like something else that it's not. But also, it can work the one terabyte drive. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay. Now, one other thing I got. Let me see if I can find it. Here we go. Oh, I called the program up. That's why that happened. Where is it? And Specky. Specky. I like Specky. There it is. And what it's telling me here, SK Hynix, S311, say the 512, just like I said. And as I, that gives me all the attributes and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. Not a big deal. When I go to the motherboard, look what it's showing me. PCI slot E, PCI slot E, available, available, available. So I'm wondering if there's a slot on the motherboard I don't know. Or it's just the internal electronics of the board, whether they use it or not. Or they use it for something else. Or maybe the SATA or, not the SATA, the USBs or some other connectors. That's fine, okay? What I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to go in there, do what I have to do, take one out. After I clone the new one when it comes in, probably by Monday or Tuesday. And we'll see what happens from there, and we hope. I always say, see what happens from there, because that's all I really have left I can possibly do is to see what happens from there. Okay? So, see you in a bit. All right, so to save time, I already took the back off, got the screw out of the, the card. Watch as I go down here. Hope I do this right. You see where I have the two slots in the card? One here, one here. Well, as I look inside the slot itself where it goes, and you can see even by the connectors, 
I could probably get the new card in there. Now the only thing we have to worry about is if it's going to work. So I already demagnetized what I had to. I'm pulling out the old one. Putting in the new one. And the only thing left to do is to see if it's going to work. I'm going to screw it in. Uh, turn it over, put the cover not exactly all the way on, in case this doesn't work. But this will just prove that, I guess you could say Dell lied by saying there's only a 512 max and you can't use NVMe. And Crucial kind of knew that, but they put together a, a decent card that ignores those limits by Dell. Like, you know, some kind of strapping like I mentioned earlier. So, let me turn this thing over and see if it works out. I'll be finishing the video on the actual laptop. Okay? Well, I finally got the job done. I went in there and replaced the, uh, the, two, the two slot SSD with the one slot PCIe. SSD and it worked fine. Showing here I have GT1000P3P SSD8. It's a one terabyte SSD. It's PCIe NVMe. I always mess those up when I try to say it. I also notice 918 gigs. You know, basically it's a terabyte. That's not too bad. All I can say is Dell said I can't do it. I'm stuck with the 512. Crucial said, no problem. They have a special one designed for that. I call it strapping because it's an old thing we used to do. You know, to bypass something, to make something think it was something else. More or less with hardware, but I guess it's kind of software strapping. So they have this Dell thinking of something else. I'm making that up, but it makes sense to me. So what I'll do is leave a couple of notes on the screen. Just to remind you, don't trust the Dell guys, but you can trust the crucial guys. Dell says you're going to ruin their warranty. This thing is five years old. What warranty? Okay? So I'm happy. Uh, I don't know how long the machine's going to last, but I have a nice card I can use later on anyway. All right. I'm going to cut this short because I'm happy.